Hello YouTube! Welcome to another project video. Last week I carved this shrink pot. I received many many questions about the knife I used, about the techniques I used and about the drying and sealing process. And in this video I try to give you answers. And often asked question was which knife you used for this project. I used the Victorinox Huntsman because for this project I need the wood saw, big blade, small blade, the reamer and the hook. And by the way the Victorinox Huntsman it's one of my favorite pocket knives because it's very compact and you have all tools you need for bushcrafting. At least almost all tools. <laughs> Concerning the hook, many people wrote me, is it possible to carve a shrink pot also without, without hook? And uh, my answer is yes, it's possible. The advantage of this modified hook is that you can lay on this straight part on the rim and you can make a channel who is perfect aligned to the rim. Without hook this step is very difficult. If you want to carve the channel without the hook I recommend you to craft such a distance hall. Here you can put the knife on like this and now you can craft a stop cut who is perfect aligned to the rim. After make a second distance, hol distance holder with a little bit more distance. Make the second cut and then pull out the material between these two stop cuts with the tip. Back, 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 back. <laughs> and on my opinion, this is the easiest way to make the channel without hook. Many of you ask me why I don't seal the leaking bottom with uh, pine resin, birch bark glue or hemp fevers. That's because the hemp we smoked already and that's why we forgot uh, how to make the birch bark glue. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Actually, my challenge is to make it seal without glue or anything else. And I'm not sure if, the, if, if uh, pine resin or birch bark glue doesn't melt when I have a, lot, a hot e uh, liquid inside my cup. But anyway, thanks a lot for your very interesting inspirations. Next question. How long will it take the drying process until the cup is sealed? Answer, I don't know, <laughs> but let's try it out. This is the cup I crafted one week ago in the video and this was my first try one month ago. This is the same wood out of the same trunk. I used the same knife. I used the same techniques. All the same. And uh, I stored these two cups in my garage. And now we go down to the lake and pick up some water out of the lake. Before we start, I want to show you that the one month old cup contract much more than the new cup. Can you see that?
So, I start with the old cup. It seems to be perfectly sealed. No drop, nothing. Perfect. Now, the one week old cup. And as you can see, it's still leaking. So I think this cup needs three weeks more until it's sealed. You asked me also about the wood. Uh, uh, hard wood, soft wood, are there poisonous sorts? Yes, of course, there are poisonous, uh, poisonous sorts depending where you live. Uh, I recommend you just use wood you know very well. So um, for, for me here in, in, in Middle Europe this is hazel, this is maple, this is alder uh, or, or, or bar, um, birch and, and some, other, some other wood sorts. Um, and especially for these projects choose a wood sort which is very soft and, and uh, take a, a, a fresh wood, not an old one. Because this, 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 curved, this curved carving move is demanding for your cutting edge, especially by small diameters. <coughs> <coughs> <laughs> You ask it also why you don't only carve from one side. That's simple. Uh, first of all, when I carve from one side, I have just one blade length deepness. And the second reason is the hole will be conical. How can I make a flat, a flat ground when I carve from one side? This is not possible. So that's why. I carve from both sides and I feed in a bone. Okay, my friends, this is for sure not an easy project. In my opinion, this is difficult level Ferrari. You need a lot of patience and you need also a bit carving experience. But when you are successful, you will have a lot of satisfaction. Try it out. Okay, that's it for today. Please watch my other videos. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and see you next Friday. Ciao!